And welcome to your gold market update for today, 22nd of March 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets, here with you on this Wednesday. Looking around the markets and trying to unpick what's going on for right now. Overnight, we had a positive session in the US again with all the major indices closing near session highs on continued bank calming. And this is despite, of course, the impending Fed rate decision, which will be in focus as we move through the day one would suggest us futures are near neutral suggesting a little bit of caution in light of what's happening later however asian indices are following that strong us lead the asx is up around one percent energy stocks are the outperforming sector on or bouncing a little overnight uh, european equity futures are also pointing to a positive open and we see in the vix suggest a little bit of market calming move below the 200 ma for the first time in a week the us dollar index which has been under pressure lately has paused at support it is near neutral in asia but gold we are seeing selling off a little bit after a recent test of 2000 that is a really important key psychological level we have dropped to 1950 although we do expect some movement of course once the fed releases its decision tonight uh, copper has edged higher again is it back challenging four dollars and oil has bounced off 18 month lows as we've already referenced uh, bitcoin has also paused it's still trading about where it has been for the last couple of days at 10 month highs uh, again we don't suspect there'll be any massive movement today until that fed rate decision is released on the data front as well as that interest rate decision which is expected to be a 0.25 percent rate rise We've got significant data coming out of the UK with both CPI and PPI due later today. We've also got the ECB president, Christine Lagarde, speaking again. The euro has been very strong lately. It'll be interesting to see what impact her speech has on that. But obviously, the Fed is what it's all about, really. A couple of charts that caught out today. Uh, we're going to start in the FX world with the GB pound yen. You can see it's trading underneath this 200 ma on the daily chart which has been the case really for the last five trading sessions so any breach of that may be significant going forward so we're keeping an eye on 162 as a an important level if we do breach that and get some buying pressure coming we could certainly see it up near mid 163s in the short term again as with any asset class that you have open, please be careful prior to that Fed interest rate release. With shares, we're actually going to flick to the US and we are interested in Caterpillar here. You can see after this fairly major pullback, as we saw in a lot of the stocks, we found a nice bottom around about this 215 mark. And now we've moved back over the 200 MA and over this key level around about 224. You can see how it was support during December, uh, support during November, and it did pause there on the way down as well. So this looks like an important price move. So we're suggesting that a move over 225 could see the buyers fly back in. Obviously, again, it would be prudent to wait until after the Fed has released its decision. This may be a sensitive stock. In the short term, we could certainly see this up around about this 240 level should we breach 225. That's one to keep an eye on in the US overnight. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.